really super year, 2020, where we see some action for people and planet. Uh, and I'm sure you all have heard his uh, striking speech at the World Economic Forum, which threw down the gauntlet to all of us around this table. But I'm afraid that uh, in the face of, uh, of this biodiversity and climate crisis, we have absolutely no time to waste if we are to change our current trajectory towards a more sustainable future. With the urgency that now exists around avoiding irreversible damage to our planet, we must, at all costs, put ourselves on what can only be described, I think, as a war footing. The current battle against the coronavirus at least demonstrates, if nothing else, how quickly the world can mobilize when we identify a common threat. I will be convening, or attempting to convene, uh, near monthly industrial sector roundtables throughout 2020 and for that matter for however long it takes if I'm still alive to mm -hmm. identify the game changers, the barriers and investments needed to drive change. <laughs> I'm full of admiration for the water heroes and heroines who have come today to this gathering. I met them just now outside. And I do hope, ladies and gentlemen, that their uh, direct experience and knowledge, and I think I visited uh, this enormous slum in Kampala at the time of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, oh, 12 years ago or more, from which one of the water heroes comes. So having seen that, I, I can understand the immense challenges and difficulties that there are, but I think these wonderful heroes and heroines do have the knowledge and experience uh, that should be taken carefully into account when dealing with issues around water. After all, ladies and gentlemen, water is utterly essential to all life on Earth. So protecting it, and I don't need to tell you this is stating the blinding obvious, is utterly critical to our survival. Inevitably, some people have too much of it, some people have too little. And you end up with too little for a very long time, and then you have too much which makes life very complicated indeed, unless we really work urgently to stabilize the climate. With climate change being the greatest um, threat humanity has ever faced, quite literally, and with time rapidly running out, as some of us have tried to point out quite a long time, I could only encourage you to raise your level of ambition to collaborate as much as you possibly can for solutions and scale and scale and there are wonderful examples out there, all around the world, of small projects which really do provide an answer to many of these issues, but lack the scaling up and lack the investment. So I hope you can raise your level of ambition, collaborate for solutions and scale, and act, if I may say so, act now. And as long as I'm still just alive, I shall go on trying to provide what little help I can. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.